Welcome to another episode of Partner Cafe. My name is Rob Jan, the Partner Solution Advocate here at Dynatrace. And in today's episode, we're gonna show our great integration that we have with LaunchDarkly. Let's get going. LaunchDarkly is a feature management platform that enables developers to release new features more quickly and with more control that is independent of a release. Developers can release within the software flags that control what features may be available to a user or a group of users, such as an early access, or access to premium features or timed events with promotions. This example here is showing a blue-green deployment where a percentage of traffic is routed to different users. Feature flags can also help with incident management. For example, flags can act as a kill switch or circuit breaker that can minimize the blast radius when something goes wrong. When Dynatrace pinpoints the problem as the root cause, it can automate the remediation by flipping the feature flag off without having to redeploy or restart the service. Let's now take a look at a demo of this in action. So let me walk you through this use case of using a kill switch to automate remediation of a problem that was detected by Dynatrace. So we have an application here with a front end and a couple services being monitored by Dynatrace. And what we've have built into one of the services is the launch darkly feature flag that's gonna cause problems in our scenario. Dynatrace is gonna monitor it. And then when it sees a problem, it's gonna open up a Dynatrace problem card and then it's going to trigger an automatic remediation using a launch darkly flag trigger. When this is done, things are going to go back to normal. Here I am in the launch darkly web UI where I'm configured a couple of feature flags. I've got the first one here, which is a nice to have feature, which when it's turned on is going to actually cause a problem in the code, essentially a time bomb that I built into the code that Dynatrace will then pick up and as a result, cause the remediation by turning the flag off. So let's drill into how the rule is configured. So as you can see here, it's very simple. It's going to have a true or false value. So when it's turned on, it's going to be true. And then let's drill into the settings where we can see how the remediation is gonna be done. So if you see, we have a Dynatrace trigger. We have an area just for this. And essentially that establishes an endpoint. So when this is called by Dynatrace, that will turn the feature off. So let's go ahead and do our demo by turning this on. And one of the cool features is for launch darkly is things can be scheduled things can be turned on manually for the web ui or through apis let's just go ahead and do it manually here so when we save our comment since this is our production environment we're required to make a comment so let's do this now we've confirmed our change and now our flag has been updated let's go ahead and look on the dynatrace side where we can see our application as mentioned is a series of services and we're going to drill into the customer service where we can see and monitor the failure rate tar starting to take place. So here I'm looking at time series data for response time and failure rates. And you can see that failures are starting to occur as a result of me changing this flag. If we drill down a little bit further that we can see it's isolated to the specific page. And if we filter on this, we can now have more insight on this particular page and the errors. And you can see Dynatrace has picked up the fact that this transaction is tied to that feature flag. So now we can see 100% failure for this particular list transaction, and that's really our problem. So for sake of time, I'm gonna speed up the video and let us drill into the problem that's now taken place. And this is the Dynatrace problem card. So Dynatrace has seen a, a failure increase. It's been open for several minutes. We can see that it's impacted a couple services, the front end and the customer service. And the root cause of it was the, cu the customer service. And we can see that the configuration change was also pushed by LaunchDarkly into Dynatrace, giving us context into the fact that this actually occurred. If we switch over to LaunchDarkly now, we can see and refresh our page. We can see now that the, the, the flag has been turned off in several seconds ago. And on the LaunchDarkly side, there's a full audit trail of everything that happened. And we can see here, Rob turned on the flag a couple minutes ago and then Dynatrace trigger automatically ran and then turned the flag off. So this is automation in action, all driven by Dynatrace AI. Pretty cool stuff. A great way to get started is to head over to Dynatrace.com, click on our chat, and speak to one of our very knowledgeable team members. And thank you for watching another episode of Partner Cafe. If you've liked what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or comments, just reach out to me at The Real Rob Jan. Thank you.